everyone, welcome back to Ryan's Rants, where I rant about the world's worst. If you've ever watched TV recently, although it's all gone digital, then you probably know what commercials are. You know, those horrible advertisements that would interrupt the best part of the show. Stacy, who was the killer? I know, the killer was Pantene Pro-V. Because what better way to shove expensive products in your face than in the middle of your entertainment? I remember getting so annoyed with these when I was a kid. While the TV executives were rolling in their money, I was left pissed off and annoyed on the couch. And half of the stuff in commercials that they advertise are things that I don't even want to buy. It's like that one guy you hate that constantly comes over, but you just, just too nice to shoo him off. Oh, also as well, you can't. Ever seen those medicine commercials where the side effects are worse than the medicine? If I'm purchasing a medicine for acne, I sure as hell don't want osteoporosis. I even saw a medicine commercial that said that the side effect was death. Oh yeah, because because when I perceive death, I'm gonna call the 1-800 number and get a refund. The worst ones are the ones that say, call the 1-800 number to get an extra item. Yeah, yeah, we'll throw in a second hairbrush free. Just pay $15,000 for shipping and handling. But no one really calls the 1-800 numbers, right? So you're kind of just left sitting there. It's kind of awkward. And you're just, they're just staring at, at the phone number before the commercial leaves. But weight loss commercials are the worst. They always do this thing. Oh, look, this guy lost 150 pounds thanks to Bowflex. Here's the before and after. And I'm just like, that's not even the same guy! And fast food commercials are fake as hell. The burgers look really good, but then they just become this sloppy mess when you get them at the restaurant. And how about the toy commercials that have a guy that sounds like this? Get the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in stores now! You know the kids are just pretending to get excited about the toys even though they want their paycheck. Whoa, what a cool toy! Hey, where's my money? TV, in general, uses this as a way to make money. Especially the channels, because all the commercials they play are the sponsors that they get. But just stop putting them in places where we don't want them. Because if we're gonna find out something cool and amazing in a show, we don't want to see your advertisements. And the worst thing is when they get a celebrity as a spokesperson. Yeah, no, it, it's a smart idea. Put someone in there that everyone looks up to and then your product will get bought. That makes so much sense. But think about how hard it is to get the celebrity there. Hey, uh, Justin Bieber, can you come for our Calvin Klein ad? No. How about a free tattoo and a billion dollars? I'll be there in a few minutes. But the worst ad by far is the eHarmony ads. They make online dating sound so safe, although the spokesperson looks like a creepy pedophile you probably encounter on there. And they show couples getting married because of eHarmony. Really? Anyway, ads are dumb, stupid, and a waste of time. And sadly, they can't be skipped. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Camera is on. Three, two, one. Welcome, welcome, oh, Frank. Welcome, every. Oh my God. <laughs> why am I failing today? I don't know why I'm failing today.